Hello there, my name's Alex Bidlack and I'm the master model builder at Lego Land Discovery Center. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be building a Lego robot today. Have a look, can you see? Something I prepared earlier. I want to talk about how I actually built this robot. So, if we'd like to start off, shall I hold him up? Woohoo! I've got a name for him. He's called Alex as well. Alex the Robot, or X84. <laughs> So, how did I build it? I started off by building the robot's legs. So can I quickly snap these legs off? <gasps> okay. So, if I quickly break the first layer here, you can see it's made up of lots of roof bricks to get this curvy uh, uh, foot effect. And then I've used lots of Lego plates to reinforce the leg. And then I've used some more Lego roof bricks to make it a bit more sturdy. And also, the colour scheme, I've used the dark grey Lego elements, and a yellow, and a light grey for some robot -y style legs here. And then, I attach them, I attach them to my, uh, the body. In fact, you know what, I'm gonna take the robot apart, like this, and I'm gonna explain what I've done. So, this is a quite a complex, the body. I'll quickly talk about the body section. Again, I've used lots of lots of Lego plates and roof bricks, inverted roof bricks, to create this like muscular physique for my robot. And on the back, he's got some booster rockets. I've used some transparent uh, Lego jumper plates here to give him some Lego boosters and some engines here using the one by one round Lego plates. And I've also got a big antenna Lego piece so he can be controlled from the command center and some flashing lights so that you know that he's there. You can see him on the horizon coming. So, yeah, I mean, you can attach the legs made up of all the roof bricks to the body. There we go. And let me tell you about the arms. One of my favorite Lego pieces is the Lego plate because you can sandwich them all together, all the different colors. And also, can I quickly show you? I've used the called Lego holder plates, one by one modified holder plates for the Lego hands, so our Lego robot can grab things, like a minifigure, for example. Ta-da! Ooh, not very well, though. <laughs> and then, can you see? I, cr I created some muscles for him using a one by two yellow roof brick. All right, so now I'm gonna attach my Lego arms. You can attach them, you can snap them in position in various postures should we try and do this style? Here we go. And then, should we move on to our robot's head? Again, using lots of Lego plates. I've created his, his eyes, some red eyes, some X-ray vision eyes, and some telescopic lenses out of the red one by one square plates, and some one by two sloped tile pieces. Oop, there we go. <laughs> and also, some more lights, so you can see him coming. And we're gonna attach his head onto this yellow one by two Lego jumper plate, and he can pivot around and see what's coming. He can even, he can even look behind him like this. Ta-da! You can see you coming. Again, there's many solutions to the same problem. You try and build a robot at home with your pieces. Hopefully, my little model will inspire you 